Last time on Total Drama Redemption Island, the campers who remained after the previous round's purge challenge were adjusting nicely to their new lives outside of the team boundaries. Bierdo tried to get Wayne into his alliance with Eva and Axel. Brick desperately wanted to get into an alliance with Joe, and after finding out Bierdo gave Wayne an ultimatum, Sammy backed out of a deal with Eva. In the challenge, it was B who came out on top, and Joe was going to team up with Brick, but Bierdo showed off a neat little gift he earned in the previous challenge that showed everyone's confessionals, and he had spliced together an incriminating message that Brick probably didn't actually say. Joe backed out of the deal with Brick, and at elimination, Brick got voted out. Tyler asks Joe if she is handling the news well of Brick's betrayal, and Joe says that something bothers her about it. Tyler asks what she means, and Joe says that in all of her time around Brick, Brick may be a traitor, but he's never had a strategic bone in his body. He acts on emotion and not logic. I mean, that's what got him eliminated in the first place. The fact he was able to come up with such a good strategy isn't like him at all. Tyler says he's not sure what to say, he didn't know him as long as she did. Joe says that she doesn't trust Bierdo was being totally honest. Sammy asks Joe if they can talk, and Joe says they can always talk. What does she need? Sammy says that she really wants Axel and Eva gone. They tried to give an ultimatum to Wayne, where if he didn't vote the way that they wanted, they'd get me out. Joe says that's horrible, while Wayne and Tyler begin throwing a frisbee around. Joe says that at Merge, alliances are what keep you in the game, and she'd love to have one with her. In confessional, Joe says that she's probably going to get rid of Wayne or Sammy at the final five. I mean, they aren't going to vote for each other after all. Beardo tells Eva that she better be ready for a tiebreaker tonight, and Eva asks how they will have one, and Beardo says that they have B, Axel, Eva, and himself. That makes four. Sammy and Wayne won't work together with them, and Joe and Tyler are a team, so that makes another four. Eva says she can beat anyone in a tiebreaker, so they won't have to worry about that. Beardo says that the issue comes when it's not her being voted in someone else. Axel asks if they're forgetting about something major in the game, and Beardo says that they didn't account for Boney Island. They need to win today's challenge, otherwise they can kiss all chances of getting further in the game goodbye. Chris welcomes them to their next challenge. This is a rehash of the famous Total Drama Action Challenge, The Princess Pride. I'm sure you all remember how it goes, so I don't need to recap. Everyone looks around confused, and Chris says, Oh right, the only one who would know this challenge got eliminated. Fine, I'll give you the Cliff Notes version. Since B won the last challenge, he will be the princess, er, prince. Joe remarks B being a prince, get real. Chris continues, As I was saying, B will be the prince in the tower. It's your job to rescue the prince from his ivory tower. First, you need to get past the terrible toothless troll on our rickety bridge. We've got the frog prince, the ugly stepsister, sleeping beauty, and one of her seven dwarves. Wayne in confessional says he likes dwarves, especially the Keebler dwarves, the ones who make those cookies. Finally, we have Little Red Riding Hood. Sadly, I don't have any more costumes, so I guess Joe can wear these glasses that obscure your vision, and Axel can wear a blindfold. Axel in confessional says that this will be easy. She's gone over the scenario where she gets her eye infected by a zombie loads of times. First one to go is Eva, and she starts getting hit by several of Chef's apples, and she takes her wig off saying that he's not going to be smiling when she gets over there. Right before she can get there, one of the wood panels breaks, and she falls through. Axel asks if she's okay, and Eva says that she's fine. Go win the challenge. Axel says she sure will before running and immediately missing the bridge, falling off. Axel says in confessional that she hadn't gone to the bridge walking part of her training yet. Joe is next, and Joe says that at the very least her biggest competition has fallen. She cracks one of the wood floorboards and hits one of Chef's projectiles back at him, knocking him over, and she passes part one of the challenge. Tyler is next, and he yells extreme as he runs in, and Chef hits the helmet with an axe. Tyler tells Chef to quit it, that hurts. Joe says to use his head, he can get out of this. Tyler says, oh right, before hitting Chef with his helmet and passing through to part two. Sammy is next, and she begins walking before falling through the cracked floorboard Eva fell through. Wayne yells out to Sammy, and Bierdo says that she could be really hurt, he needs to check on her. Wayne says, I sure do, before jumping off the bridge next to her and asking if she's okay. Sammy says in confessional that Wayne doesn't have a ton going on upstairs, but it was really sweet of him to throw away a chance at immunity to check on me. Bierdo says in confessional that convincing Wayne to throw the challenge was the easiest thing he's done in this competition. Bierdo is finally up, and Chef 
Champ throws his hair at Bierdo, but Bierdo grabs it and swings to the other side. In confessional, Bierdo says he didn't even think it would support his weight, but if it supported Duncan's, it surely can support him. Chris says that the three brave knights have made it to the other side, and they can continue their noble quest. They then are told they can get a vision of Prince B, but when B is supposed to sing, he just stands there awkwardly, and Chris says that maybe he should have gone with the glass boot, even if it would have gotten him another lawsuit. Alright, fine, no marketable CDs this time. The troll takes the prince, and the other three knights will have to fight a dragon. Joe says that she's surprised things were this intense back in season 2, and Chris says that it wasn't a real dragon. That's one of the reasons he got all the toxic waste. It felt more real. Tyler asks if she really got to be in a season with dragons, and Joe says it was more like flying goats and man-eating plants. But something like that, and Tyler says that's awesome. Beardo says that if the ladies are done chatting, he has a challenge to win. Beardo runs in and Tyler rushes after him, saying that he won't let him have all the fun. Joe says in confessional that she has an idea. Joe grabs one of the apples Chef threw and hits Beardo in the cojones with it before telling Tyler to lean over a bit. She will use him as a stepping stool to get onto the dragon. Tyler says that the only woman he let step on him before was Lindsay, but Joe says that if he wants to be safe from elimination, he has to do this, and Tyler begrudgingly gets into position, and Joe jumps off of Tyler and stabs the quote-unquote dragon. Chris says that Joe will now be able to save the prince. Beardo tells Joe good job, and Joe says she's sorry about hitting him in his soft spots, and Beardo says it's nothing, all part of the game. In confessional, Beardo says that he took great offense to it, but it's better to be on Joe's good side for now. Joe climbs the tower and says not to expect a kiss, but Chris says that the prince in the night must now fight to get immunity. Joe says she's gonna like beating him up for what he did to her last challenge. After a series of hits too graphic to show on TV, Chris says that Joe is the winner. First question, who are you bringing into the spa hotel? Joe says that it would only be fair to bring Tyler into it after he let her jump off of him. Tyler cheers at the news, and Chris asks who will she send to Boney Island, and Joe says to apologize for what she did to him, Beardo, you can go to Boney Island. Beardo says in confessional that Boney Island isn't exactly a place for forgiveness, but hey, maybe he can find the idol. Then Joe can be really sorry. Joe goes to B and tells him that normally, she'd want him out. But how about this? You help us, and we'll keep you in another week. B gives a signal of acceptance, and Joe says great, vote Axel. But one more thing, just in case. Eva tells Axel that they have to face the reality of the situation. One of them is going home. Axel says that they should go out fighting. All of them will vote Tyler. He is Joe's errand boy. As a result, he's the only one that needs to go 100%. Eva says it's a done deal. That's three votes on Tyler and they can hope Wayne and Sammy aren't actually working with Joe and Tyler. B takes Eva aside and tells her in his own special way that she should vote Wayne just in case Joe has the idol, and Eva says that's a good idea but he should still vote Tyler and B gives a signal of acceptance. At elimination, Chris says that there are seven marshmallows on this plate. One is for Joe, now there's six. Chef, do the honors, tell them why they're going home. Tyler, you had victory in the palm of your hand, yet you gave it up for Joe. You two are getting too close for many to handle. Eva and Axel, you two are the power couple here. Wayne and Sammy, you two are certainly a couple. And B, honestly you're just kinda chill. Thanks chef, now back to this. Sammy, you got no votes. Now there are four people left. Tyler and Wayne, you only got one vote. Eva and Axel are shocked and Axel asks how that could be. Joe says that she just had B convince Eva to vote Wayne just in case one of you had the idol. Eva asks B if he really betrayed them and he shrugs his shoulders. The final marshmallow of the night goes to... Axel. Eva says that they will pay for this and Axel stands up before saying she wants to use an idol on Eva. Chris asks if she is aware that if she does this she will be the one eliminated and Axel says she's aware. Eva asks why she didn't tell them she had the idol and Axel says she couldn't trust any of them not to tell anyone about it, especially B or Bierdo. Three can keep a secret if two are dead and all that. Eva says that she doesn't have to do this, but Axel says that Eva's stronger than her in almost every way. Just don't let the temper get the better of you. Chris says that with that, Axel, it's time to go. Axel says good luck to everyone besides B. You're a snake. We would have been fine if not for you flipping on us. Tyler says he really doesn't get what happened, and Eva says that if things went to the original plan, you would be gone, so be happy Joe was able to figure out a way for you to stay. Tyler asks if Joe really did that for him, and Joe said it wasn't for him specifically, but yeah, she kept him in the game longer. 
Chris says that it's getting down to the home stretch now. Seven remain, who will be eliminated next. Find out next time on Total Drama Redemption Island. And that's that for Total Drama Redemption Island. What did you think? Question of the week. Do you think there is any hope for Eva to make it farther now that our alliance is broken? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Redemption Island.